Well, on, on that topic, Chief, as of many people as you need to get the job done, when you became chief, the balance didn't allow that as easily as it does now and also began to disrupt any planned time off and other things. We thought morale was a significant problem. What, what kinds of things have you done rather than evaluate morale, which is hard for this, us to do sitting here, what have you done that you believe has had the most impact on officers uh, the understanding they're appreciated and the morale that comes with that? Well, I think that um, the, the biggest impact we've had is, is the additional staffing. People can get days off. If they're, if they're scheduled to be off on a day, they can pretty much count on the fact that they'll be off instead of being told, no, you can't have that day off. There are fewer times when at the end of a shift, um, the sergeant will come and say, okay, Officer Blunt, you, you know, you thought you were going home. You got to stay here and do another shift because mm -hmm. we're short on the next shift. Mm -hmm. These things happened all the time. I had cops telling me that um, they, they'd gone a month without getting a day off. That's changed. And I'm not saying that we, there are still not times when we, we hold folks over or, or have to change days off, but it's, it's far fewer than, than we were doing right after January 6th. So I think that made the biggest uh, impact. I think the fact that um, we have, uh, and I don't think you, that money ultimately is going to uh, uh, have a sustained impact on morale, but the fact that we've had, you know, a couple of years of, of retention bonuses that we're now offering uh, specialty pay to those who volunteer to do those specialty assignments like civil disturbance, um, I think that's made an impact where the folks feel like, okay, you know, people are acknowledging that this is extra work and that this does have a little bit more hazard uh, as, a, as a part of it. Um, so doing things like that that show the officers that we appreciate the sacrifices that they're making has, has made a difference as well. And I think that, the, the, um, that lastly, um, you know, the fact that officers do feel appreciated, that doesn't happen by chance. I think that many of the things that, um, that this committee has done, that you and Senator Klobuchar have done personally, and that Congress has done for the United States Capitol Police has sent a pretty strong message that people do care about uh, what they do and do appreciate their sacrifices and do appreciate what they do every day. And if, if, for any of us, if we feel like the people that we work for appreciate what we do, it makes a difference. Well, I know you've worked hard on this and I certainly know you're continuing and, and we'd encourage that. You have a couple of vacancies on your executive team I'm wondering about. One is the assistant chief uh, for protective and intelligence operation and the other is the chief administrative officer. How, how were you doing in the effort to fill those two top jobs? Um, I, the, uh, um, the announcement for the chief administrative officer went out last week. Um, my hope is we're gonna, that we can have that out for about a month or so, and, and my hope is that we get some good candidates to, to choose from, and, and we can make a selection uh, for that in the next couple of months. Um, the uh, the uh, assistant chief for uh, protection and intelligence, uh, I've got an acting uh, in there now, who um, uh, Jason Bell, who, who has a lot of experience in, in, in the protective uh, responsibilities and investigations, so he's doing a good job. But my intent was to bring, uh, and is to bring someone in from the outside. Uh, I want to get that, uh, my reorganization plan, uh, which I submitted to the Capitol Police Board, I want to get that approved, and that will allow me to start filling some of those senior level vacancies. Um, and uh, uh, that, uh, hopefully, we can get to that soon as well. But we're, ma in terms of the sworn positions, uh, the executive, we're managing, we, I've got a good team. I have, I have a lot of depth in, on my bench at the higher levels, the, at the inspector level, the captain level, really, really uh, deep benches there. And so we've got folks that are in acting positions that are, that are doing well. But uh, eventually I, I've got a, a sort of a master reorganization plan that I'd like to get implemented. And uh, all those senior level positions would be filled. Uh, Chair? 